We will reach the port very soon, but the Igas... You predicted they would go ahead. Do you think they did? Yes. If they had not, our journey across the land would have been pointless. They would have found us. Hmm. He is there. On board. At this moment, Gyobu is crossing swords with the Iga. Once that man has his mind and heart set on something, no one can stand before him. He is an impassable force. What? You're dead! <laughs> Trickery usually doesn't work on me. I'm impressed, Gilbo. I killed you myself, with my own hands! You're dead! I felt the life leave you! Is that so? Well, then I suppose you have a ghost standing before you now. No, I am very much alive. And you have failed again. <laughs> yes, great skill. Perfect for running away. This boat is simply too small for you to keep hiding, like a coward. If you must resort to words to hurt me, your cause is lost. My excitement to slay you eager is almost boiling through my skin. off since coming back from the dead <laughs> is that so you should know this my sword was not forged to kill filth from the koga world but i had no other means especially if your way is to hide in the darkest shadows cowering from the face of your enemy you forget your history it is the gutless eager who wait in hiding as they've done since the betrayal of the tensho era what are these lies you speak before the Oda army attacked the Iga, my father was ambushed and slaughtered outside of our village. That is the way of your people. <laughs> Perhaps you are right. Now, what are you going to do about it? <gasps> <laughs> You're cruel, Gyobu. Hiding while an innocent is killed. This is on your shoulders. Since you refuse to face me. An eager ninja preaching about cruelty. Your soul is as lost as your mind. Even if you forget your people's evil deeds, fate will not. Never forget that day. Never.
Why, Kyobu? Did you feel it cowardly attacking from behind? Or somewhere inside, do you have sympathy for your enemy? My son. Such actions betray your weakness. The kind of weakness that will dig your grave someday. There is no talk of compassion in the ninja code. If you wish to survive in this world, you must be able to overcome the weakness of empathy. <laughs> yes, Father. It won't happen again. Father, are you going to Tsubagakure? The constant squabbles between the Koga and the Iga have become far too abundant. Both sides are worn thin. I have been ordered by Danjo-sama to meet with him as a representative. Father, please. Please take caution on your journey. I am a ninja. Do you think that I would forget my training? Between our clans is not a cloth to be sewn back together in an afternoon, but more blood spilled is not a way of life for either. Only a fool would continue the clash past this point. We've planned a path to harmony. It is my desire to have a long life of peace with you, my son. That is why I take my leave today. I will be back. After that bloody day, the No Hostilities Pact was forged by the first Hattori Hanzo. I would never be able to avenge the murder of my greatest mentor, my own father. That day changed me from the inside out, and I made my decision. A 
would thrive on one thing above all others. My hatred. The one thing that pushes me forward is my undying loathing for the Ika. Hatred that extends to all of their people. It is my food. It is my water. It is my shelter. It is my lack of any compassion. <laughs> The boy has become a man. <laughs> Your mouth flaps about with such pettiness. Can't you see? I feel no sorrow for you, casting away your compassion. It is a useless emotion in our world. As for your father, I have a strong sense that you will be with him quite soon. <coughs> Don't you speak of him! your play to break me. But you won't forget my face! Say hello to your father, Kasumi Gyobo. Having heard no word from these two, I fear they must also be dead. You fought well, my friends.
Iga and Koga. We each have four pawns, and the end game is drawing near. We may act alone, but we are a clan above all. In this game, Iga shall reign. Another member of our great clan has fallen. Grandfather Kazamachi Jube Josuke Okoye. 